Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski, and this is Trailers from Hell. Right now, we're going to look at one of the most radical, subversive political films ever released from a Hollywood studio. From 1969, Medium Cool. Innocence is a feeling. Awareness is a feeling. How does it feel to stop feeling? The fact that this movie got released by Paramount Pictures is amazing. It came along at the right moment, when the studios were crapping out with traditional fare and decided to take a chance on ambitious, boundary-pushing material. Three years earlier or three years later, this movie wouldn't have happened. And that makes it a great artifact of its time. It was a directorial debut of the amazing cinematographer Haskell Wexler. He's one of the best DPs ever. Days of Heaven, Bound for Glory, Cuckoo's Nest, In the Heat of the Night, Virginia Woolf, America, America, The Thomas Crown Affair, I could go on and on. His movies look fabulous. But for Medium Cool, he went in a totally different style. Uh, handheld, almost like a documentary. In fact, the best thing about Medium Cool is the way it mixes narrative and documentary forms, fact and fiction. There's no other movie like it. You have a fictional story, but inside that there's documentary footage. But then there's also faked documentary footage. And on top of that, there are fictional characters and real documentary footage. It's mind blowing. The sequence taking place at the 1968 Democratic Convention in Chicago is legendary. Actors and filmmakers making a narrative with history happening all around them. Wexler instructed his lead actress, Verna Bloom, to walk among the rioters and stay in character while he filmed. Please shoot tear gas, and there's a famous line on the soundtrack, Look out, Haskell, it's real! Later, I was kind of disappointed to learn that the line was dubbed in from another sequence, but that's okay. This movie is all about media manipulation. Wexler was very influenced by Godard in this film. He, he breaks the fourth wall several times, most memorably the final shot, which after a violent car crash, the camera turns to reveal Haxel Wexler filming it all. The lead of this movie is the great Robert Forster. He plays a news cameraman. I love the opening scene where he films an accident victim before calling for medical help. The footage is what's important. Foster is always good. This is his second film after John Huston's nutty Reflections in a Golden Eye. Wexler originally wanted to use John Cassavetes in Medium Cool. Cassavetes would have been right at home with all this improvisation. But Forster is terrific. He's one of those actors who never stops working but isn't appreciated enough. Thank God Tarantino gave him Jackie Brown. It was nice to see him with a part that matched his enormous talent. After Medium Cool, Wexler went back to being a DP. He never directed again at the studio level. He did a few left-wing documentaries and only one other narrative feature, a movie called Latino. There was actually a very interesting documentary about Wexer, made by his son, about the relationship between the two. It's called Just Tell Them Who You Are. It's worth checking out. And actually, there are several documentaries connected to this film. One on the making of the movie called Look Out, Haskell, It's Real, and one called Sooner or Later, which is all about Harold Blankenship, uh, the young non-pro Appalachian boy who co-stars in the film, and then ended up living back up in the mountains. The title, Medium Cool, is of course a tip of the hat to the media studies of Marshall McLuhan. I'd talk about that, but I know nothing of his work.